Hello, 3D printing fans. Hello, Creality fans. I'm here with a pair of Creality Ender 3D version 2s. And what I'm doing today is replacing this crap BL Touch, which is failing, with the Creality CR Touch, which is the standard auto bed leveling device for the higher end Creality models, but is also compatible with your Ender 2. So we're gonna go ahead and get that off this off and replace it with this for comparison here is the bl touch and here is the cr touch we're removing this and installing this you can see there's quite a difference in the build quality this has a nice solid black case with a metal probe this is a plastic case with an exposed circuitry and a cheap plastic probe so the cr touch is a considerable upgrade from the garbage BL touch and surprise they're about the same price and on the Creality Amazon store I actually got this for cheaper than this and I bought them both direct go figure let's get started the first thing you're going to do is yank out that cable and then remove the BL touch Now let's open up the CL touch. It's funny how the CL touch is larger than the BL touch, but it comes in a smaller box. So we're gonna use the right bracket based on the machine you own. And there is the CL touch. Inside the CL touch box, you'll see the wiring, the screws, some zip ties, a pack of nozzles. That's a nice bonus. But we are not going to use the wiring because we've already wired the BL touch and the CL touch uses the same wiring and BIOS as the BL touch. Now we're going to take this bracket off. This is the bracket that your BL touch was mounted to. And for the Ender 3 version 2, you're going to use this mount. Fits right there. You can either mount the BL touch first or the bracket first, whichever you think makes more sense for you. So the bracket fits this way. You'll notice that the connection for the wiring is on the top of the CR touch where it was on the rear side of the BL touch. And the best way to do it is to drop the screws in from above and attach the bracket first because it'll be really difficult to do that once the bracket's on the machine. Okay, let's get this installed. I'm going to do the connection first. That way I have a good view and a good grip to stick it on. Again, we're using the same wiring as the previous BL Touch. If you didn't have a BL Touch installed already, you're gonna have to install the wiring you can find some YouTube videos and directions on that. Sorry, I didn't go over that part. And you put the two screws on the bracket, do them loose, that way it's easy to get both of them in and to make sure it's positioned the way you want, then tighten it. If you tighten one and then the other screw isn't quite lined up, you're gonna have a hard time getting the screw in. So there you have it, the Creality CR Touch installed on the Ender 3 version 2 rather than the BL Touch. According to Creality and the interwebs, the BL Touch and the CR Touch run on the same firmware, so I should be able to fire this up and get right to work. Let's test it out. I'm going to turn it on. I don't know if you can see or hear, but the CR Touch already did its boot up test. And now we're going to run the level. I notice that the light on the CR Touch is purple. And now it's blue. The metal 
Pro looks so much sturdier and more reliable than the plastic probe of the BL Touch. Again, this is the BL Touch and it has this little plastic probe. And there's a nut up here that you adjust that helps adjust this probe's height and it's really confusing. So far, very pleased with the CR Touch. It's working on the very first attempt and that metal probe looks so much better. It's blue before testing, and then it's purple when it registers. So you'll notice the light is now blue, purple, blue, purple. It's a really satisfying sound when it drops. So there you have it. I've replaced the BL Touch with the CR Touch on a Creality Ender 3 version 2. It just booted up straight away and completed its first leveling right off the bat. Those of you who have the BL Touch know that it loves to randomly fail and start blinking. You have to run the level all over again. This is especially bad if you have scripts that run the leveling automatically and it's going to fail. And then you have to run it all over again because it won't print right until it succeeds. So the very first attempt at leveling with the CR Touch worked flawlessly and I'm very pleased. This is what the box looks like. You can find it on the Creality Store on Amazon. I got mine for about $39, which is less than I paid for this piece of junk. The link will be in my description below, so hit that and get one of these and save yourselves the leveling headache on your Ender 3 version 2. So that's all I've got for you today. You're on Greg Adventure. I'm Greg. And this was today's adventure.